What's up you guys, it's Bryony. So I've been meaning to get this video done for a little while now and I've just kept getting distracted or I've just been like, oh no, I don't want to do it today and I finally feel like, you know, I really need to get this done. So I've been on YouTube now for around five years and in those five years, a lot has changed. My life has completely changed. YouTube has completely changed. Just everything has changed as it does as time moves on. But I feel like my channel hasn't really changed. When I started making videos, I was 15 and I had just been diagnosed with ME, which I later learned I don't actually have, I have Lyme disease. But I was chronically ill, I was bed bound and YouTube was a life savior to me. I managed to like build a whole community of people. I was sharing information, stuff I was really passionate about and it was fantastic. And I just, I absolutely loved it. And it was such a vital part of my life and I honestly don't know what I would have done without it. I do think it saved me from possibly falling into things like depression and that. But since then, I have now come a long way. I can now manage my illness. I'm living independently. I've been living independently for over two years now. And things have really changed. And of course, also YouTube has changed. Back when I started, YouTube wasn't anywhere near as big as it is now. It was still big, like people were on YouTube a lot and there were there were like popular YouTubers back then, but you didn't hear kids like me at that point saying, you know, oh, I want to be a YouTuber when I grow up. It wasn't, it wasn't seen as a job. There were people who had been very successful at it, but it wasn't seen as like, oh, anyone can get big at it. Whereas now, like you do hear kids saying that. I've had kids come up to me and ask me for tips and stuff being like, oh, I want to be a YouTuber as well when I like grow up or anything like that. And I'm just like, whoa, it's, it's so different from how it was back when I started. Um, and I've recently been seeing a lot of creators, both new and old, and seeing like what they're doing, how they've changed. And because of course YouTube's changed a lot, like their algorithms changed, it's just constantly being things being updated and it's like, how do you keep up sometimes? And I honestly feel this is why I kind of gave up on YouTube around a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Now, by that, I don't mean that I just stopped using YouTube. As you guys have seen, I've still been putting out videos. But I mean I sort of gave up really putting in a lot of effort into my videos. At one point, they were like the highlight of my day. I used to love thinking up the new ideas and the new things I was going to do and like creating how I was going to run the videos and that. And in the last two years, I've had occasional days and occasional videos where I've been like, okay, I really like this idea. I'm going to go with it. But most of the time, I've just tried to do like really easy videos just to kind of keep my channel ticking over. But I've not really put a large investment into it in terms of like my effort and drive to move it on up. But about a month ago that really changed and I realized why it is that I have been feeling that way and it's because I've kept my channel the exact same way for those five years. I've been talking about periods and reusable menstrual products and that's great because you guys watch that and you like seeing that but me as a person, I've changed, and that's not the only thing I want to talk about anymore. So I'm kind of revamping my channel a bit now, and I'm not going anywhere, don't worry, I'm still gonna be here, and I am still gonna be talking about like menstrual products, reusable menstrual products, periods in general, don't worry, that is still gonna be like the main topic of my channel, but I also wanna add in some new content as well. So some of the new things I want to include on my channel are videos talking about like eco-friendly products in general, being more eco-friendly just in, you know, real life, trying out new things, but also focusing a lot more on like body positivity and female empowerment. I am so sick of the only people I see on Instagram being like these dolled up women who are like sucking in their stomachs and posing at these angles and all these like high fashion clothes and makeup done flawlessly, their hair done, everything. And I'm like, you know what? That's great if that's there as well as more natural models, but there's such a lack of that, I don't know what's the word, realness, like that actual natural beauty. And that's what I really wanna see more of. And you know, if you wanna see something change, change it yourself. So as you've probably seen in most of my videos, I don't wear makeup, not particularly worried about my hair or being super fashionable. I have my own sort of fashion sense and what I like to wear and I'm really comfortable in my own skin and that is not something that a lot of girls can say and that makes me really sad. And another thing that's really pushed me to do this is I don't think any of us now can say that we don't know somebody that has been through some kind of eating disorder or has struggled with their body image. Like, that is crazy to me. I hear girls my age all the time saying things like, oh, I need to go on a diet, oh, I need to go to the gym, look at me, I'm so fat, I don't fit in this clothing. And it makes me so sad that that is how girls are growing up these days, particularly with social media, 
being so prominent and such an, a key part of our life and just seeing all these models and stuff. And don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing them. Like, I think it's great that people can express themselves and like with makeup and all that, whatever. But I think it's really important to show the realness side of it as well. I know girls that can't leave the house without makeup on. That just seems crazy to me. So that's kind of why I wanna start doing some other videos talking about like being body confident and what that means to me and yeah, you know, it'll, it'll, you'll see. It'll just happen as it goes. There are things I wanna experiment with basically and I hope you guys will enjoy seeing that. But I wanted to give you an update before I sort of started doing these videos and you were like, what's this? This isn't what she does. That's why I'm trying to change things up a bit, keep things fresh, but also to kind of keep myself motivated and inspired. Because if I'm not feeling motivated or inspired, then I can't make motivating or inspiring videos. And that's really what I want to do. Summary of this video is I'm still gonna be making videos on menstruation and on reusable menstrual products. I still love those products. You're still gonna see them. Obviously I run my business, which is selling those products. So I'm still gonna keep going with that. I'm still really passionate about that. But I wanna add some other things in as well. And I'm really curious to see what your guys' feedback is about that. And of course, if there are any other types of videos you like to see me do then please let me know but I hope you will enjoy the videos I hope you understand this video guys thank you for all your support over the years and hopefully you'll continue to support I have really loved the journey up until now and I'm hoping that it's gonna be even better in the future with this slightly new detour thanks so much for watching guys please subscribe so you can see all the new videos coming up also don't forget to check out my website precious stars the link is down below and I will see you guys in a minute bye